Hey guys, welcome to my channel Prodbug and we will continue with our Appium series and this time we are going to do something interesting like we are going to automate our the web browser. Okay, because uh, we have seen a lot of things in the native apps, right? All the APKs and all this thing. Now it is very interesting to understand uh, how to automate the uh, Chrome or any other browser in the mobile. Okay, because a lot of applications are having web view. So we need to understand uh, how to do that okay oh, okay so this is going to be an important chapter okay let me show you the code before before showing it to the code let me tell you a few things very important to understand as you first of all open your emulator uh, okay open chrome okay let's say we are targeting chrome open chrome and uh, go to somewhere here help and desk and try to get the f uh, version okay so click here click here and version info okay so this is very important otherwise uh, you know we will not be able to connect to the browsers so here you can see my version is 114 and this is the version okay so after that what do you need to do go to here on this chrome driver.chromium.org download section and download the particular driver uh, which is matching okay so in my case if you see that this version is matching like 58 right so i uh, this chrome driver will not be able to handle this particular browser because this is still 16 and it is 58 so i, I need to download the latest one 90 okay so uh, uh, the previously i am using some some old version and uh, suddenly my chrome has been updated and my all test cases start failing okay so um, uh, after doing a lot of google i come to know okay this is the mistake i have done so you guys please be careful don't repeat what i have done okay so keep checking your uh, chrome version uh, here okay even if after some days let's say your script start failing this is the first debugging point which you need to do always go and check your chrome driver what driver uh, which chrome version is running on your particular device okay it may happen that if you are opening different different uh, emulators let's say you have created three emulators okay there might be chances who knows that all three uh, have different chrome versions right so you have to be very very careful if you are working with browsers okay so i have downloaded this uh, chrome uh, driver and another important point is you need to save let me open this one you need to save your driver here okay just change the name so earlier i have something uh, 113 so i have downloaded the latest one and i change the name to chrome driver okay and this is the path see this path is very important dot apm under your username uh, go to the dot apm node modules apm and you will find this particular folder node modules apm chrome driver and under the windows okay so under the windows you need to paste your chrome driver here okay this is really important step let me close okay so now let's close this and so th there are the two steps so first we checked uh, the chrome uh, version and accordingly we downloaded the driver and we saved in that particular folders okay now third step let's go to the code now okay okay now now let's go to the code okay so one important thing is we need to see how to set up the uh, capabilities okay uh, i have shown you all the capabilities for this apk this is apk3 this is our source lab apk this is the code for apk and this is the code for uh, our first apk right now similarly you have to set uh, set up some different capabilities for com driver see everything is similar android 8.1 ui automated 2 emulator name everything is same we don't need to set any of these two activity like app packages app activity don't required at all okay just you can uh, this is the most important okay this is the most important capability like with browser name okay so you need to pass here chrome in our case we are testing with chrome so just pass it chrome okay so these are the capabilities which you need to run you need to use and let's go here and everything is exactly same just we given the our capabilities here as a second parameter to android driver and this url etc everything will remain same okay and we just simply call this test login method okay so for our automation what we have picked we have picked this uh, like this this website very famous for automation right so uh, they have given the admin and password and we'll click on the 
okay let me show you what we are going to do we will uh, enter the username we will uh, enter the password we we'll click on the login once login we will click here the profile photo and we will log out okay very very simple uh, test we are going to automate this much okay the only important part here is like uh, the chrome version should match your mobile chrome version should match and you download the chrome driver and paste in that win win folder and that's it and another important point is just to make sure the capabilities which i have shown you here is uh, is just matching with this okay just only this is a very small setup part okay after that what we are doing we simply uh, driver.get we open this we uh, take the locators like name it is given you can just it, it's very simple to see you can simply check here right click and inspect okay so this is again everything is uh, APM part click here and go to here so just we are using username similarly we are using password and simply click on the login button and other locators okay okay so uh, another important thing which i found i hope you are already aware about this so if you click so this is the desktop version right this is a desktop version but we are automating like uh, uh, in mobile okay so there are two option means you can use the inspector apm inspector or uh, this one okay to find the locators but but it's a website right so why why to unnecessary use uh, all these things so i i personally suggest you directly use your like dev tools okay so simple this one you can simply use this and what why it is coming at and uh, small because i have used this particular uh, thing so i hope uh, in the uh, dev developer tools you are aware that if this is the web version right this is the web version okay but i want to see in in the mobile devices okay so what the Mo uh, chrome developer tools has given this particular option click here and select the device size. see you can select any any device size accordingly it will just change here okay so here i am we are using pixel 4 but here pixel 4 is not given in the list okay so i am using the pixel 5 okay it must be some near to that okay the main important thing is just the screen size okay that only is changing here okay here percentage you if you make it 100 so you can see something here okay but i am not able to scroll to the down so that's why i change it to the 25 just to find the locators like this view okay now username is visible and now you can find the locators like in this screen as well otherwise uh, you can simply open the web version and you can find the locators it's it's same thing but if you want to have a small view just uh, for the mobile sake of mobile uh, i would suggest to use and this is why this is also important because see sometimes it happen a lot of elements are visible here okay in the desktop version but in the mobile a lot of things get hidden or maybe they get rearranged i don't know maybe the xpath and some id uh, some xpath maybe get changed because of it so it's always advisable to use this particular screen and uh, uh, use some mobile device and then try to see which elements are visible and you are clicking on the exactly the same link okay uh, so these all practices you can use while finding out the locators okay so let's go to the code so let's go to the code what we are doing we open the website we click on the uh, we entered admin in the username we entered password we click on the submit button okay here uh, nothing we are just simply trying to fetch some attributes we can remove this code okay so what we are doing then we clicked on the submit button and once login we are simply clicking on the profile button okay uh, this is the X path for that and then we click on the logout simple very very simple test cases you can modify according to your need okay so but the important part we have already discussed for web auto for web automation okay so let me run this uh, another another uh, uh, thing I would like to show you guys so uh, I found in, in one of the blog like uh, if, if you are finding some some problem with the driver uh, chrome driver so just try to run this command apm allow insecure chrome driver auto download so sometimes it happen that uh, this command basically auto download your chrome driver okay like we have done manually right now which I have shown you that is a sure shot uh, way but if you don't want to download try to run this command as well okay some uh, I have seen that in one of the few blogs uh, that this command will work and you don't need to download the chrome driver it will automatically download the compatible uh, driver and 
and save it in the that folder win folder okay but but uh, i don't want to use this particular command okay because uh, i tried to run and i i found some errors in my case but but in your case it this command may work okay so you can just try to run this command as well okay uh, make sure the apm is running while you are running this particular command okay okay so let's go next and let's try to run this particular code and open our emulators let's see so the we have opened the website we will enter the admin username password login button and here we click on the profile and log out yeah so simple simple test right so this way we can easily automate uh, the mobile chrome browser yeah so i hope this is very easy and uh, just try with the different different websites and just see just play around that so i hope this is clear to you guys and see you in the next chapter till then thank you keep enjoying